Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Amika Cowder. A full house of six crew members living and working aboard the ISS kicked off the week by celebrating the anniversary of a pivotal milestone in the history of human spaceflight. November 2nd marked the 14th anniversary of the arrival of the Expedition 1 crew at the station. NASA astronaut Bill Shepard and cosmonaut Sergei Krikalov and Yuri Gizinko docked to the orbiting complex in their Soyuz spacecraft to begin their 136 days aboard. At the time, the station consisted of only three modules, Unity, Zarya, and Zvezda. Expedition 41 Commander Max Sarayev and Flight Engineers Alexander Gerst and Reed Wiseman are counting down to their departure this Sunday. The end docking of the Soyuz carrying Sarayev, Gerst, and Wiseman will mark the end of Expedition 41. For a schedule of all of Sunday's farewell and landing events and to watch live online, check out nasa.gov ntv. Not everyone can go to space, but everyone can see Earth from an astronaut's perspective. Students on the ground are snapping shots from the ISS by controlling the Sally Ride EarthCam payload. Named for America's first woman in space, EarthCam has been on board since the arrival of the first expedition crew and provides an out-of-this-world classroom experience, teaching students a variety of disciplines like science, geography, and math. This week, Joe wants to know how we get pictures of the ISS in orbit. Well, Joe, in the younger days of ISS, crew members aboard the space shuttle snapped pictures during the orbiter's fly around. Today, the big picture views are taken by the right seat crew member inside the Soyuz during approach and departure. Not exactly an easy shot to get. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.